Hello everybody, this is Ben Hansen with MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, and getting better. And this is the start of the journey in Chrono Cross. I have the Radical Dreamers on Nintendo Switch, as you can see, thanks to Square Enix for sending us a code. We are taking the deepest dive into Chrono Cross. We are creating the best, most thorough discussion about Chrono Cross on the internet with Kyle Hilliard, Joe Juba, and from IGN, Rebecca Valentine. And so we're going to be having this huge four-part Yes, I'm sure. Four-part community game club discussion about this game is going to be on our YouTube channel. Um, and then also you can unlock the podcast version of that discussion by supporting us over on Patreon at patreon.com slash minimax with two ends. Look, if you clicked on this video, you're a fan of Chrono Cross, and there aren't that many of us, so let's rally together. Let's unite. Let's really savor this experience for all it's worth. So jump in there and play Chrono Cross with us, everybody. A lot of people have been asking, um, do you need to play Chrono Trigger first? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, there's light connective threads, but you'll be totally fine if you've never played Chrono Trigger. We'd still love to have you. Um, oh, look at this. New art. Come on, baby. Let me know how the volume is. We got little Janice, the, the carrot girl down there. This is truly lovely. Hey, Everett Snorlax. This is new music, isn't it? No. Is this like the credits theme, maybe? Normal, full zoomed. All right, let's figure it out. Oh, thanks for the big sub there, Mr. Postman. Give me a treat. Appreciate it. For watching us on YouTube, uh, you can always subscribe or give us a follow, I guess I should say, on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash show. We'd appreciate it. And if you're watching this and you say, hey, I'm going to be playing this game, or I'm interested in playing this game, but how do I join the Deepest Dive? What is that? Um, you support us at any tier on Patreon. You can submit comments along the way and we'll read your comments during our discussion. You can help build out the best, most thorough discussion about this game on the internet. Um, and you can jump in at the $2 tier and submit those comments. We'd appreciate it. Uh, hell yeah, Mr. Postman. Thanks for throwing those our way. Hey, Monzo. Hey, Bob Backwards. Can't wait for the deepest dive on Chrono Break. Oh, how I wish. All right. Shh, shh, shh. Back, everybody! It's frickin' back! Come on now. Curious to see how they redid all these, um, the visuals. Maybe not too much for the FMVs? Got the flicker of the light. Boy, we got that! Thanks for the sub, Rick Knowles! 12 months, appreciate it. Hell yeah. We're gonna get so many comments about the music for the deepest dive. It's my favorite game soundtrack of all time. Mainly for a little reason called this. Hell yeah. We're back, baby, we're back! left and right here. They're really showing all the good stuff. There's one shot in this intro that I'm like, I can't believe they show that. It's so crazy. All right, here we go. Here we go, everybody. It's 2000 again. So that's where we're going to be taking the deepest dive on, everybody. Um, we're just going to be talking about that intro over and over again. I think we're going to get like 40 comments just about that intro, so... Oh, the song could be louder, says Crowboy. <laughs> Interested. Stoked to do the deepest dive, says Bonesaw. Yeah, we need to help convince people on YouTube to join us for the deepest dive. 
This is this is the time to save a Chrono Cross, everybody, and you're gonna have such a better time with this game if you're playing through it with the community. Because not only do you submit comments for everybody, um, for us to read like during our discussions, but then also, hello. Um, but then also you get access to the Discord where there's a whole channel with people just really leaning in and talking about Chrono Cross in a big bad way. So we hope you enjoy that. Oh yeah, that screen. Hope you don't mind me, I'm gonna be taking notes every once in a while during this um, for the deepest dive. That opening, I mean, it's a little, it's a little booby, but I guess it's fine. I can continue? That don't make no sense. HD rumble and Chrono Cross? Now I've heard everything. That's, that's worth a note. That's my first note for the deepest dive on Chrono Cross, this HD rumble. Okay. They're spoiling the world map here. No one pay attention to that. Oh, okay, there's some funky stuff. So no random battles, auto battle. High speed mode, I'm very curious about this. I, I'm looking forward to it. Because I don't think they initially revealed that they were gonna have that, so. Ah, big old surge. I. I'd love to change it, but look, it's going to be confusing as hell for everybody, so I'm just going to confirm it. Is that new art for Surge on the left? Is that new character art? It has been a while. So I'm playing on Switch. Just so y'all know. Again, let me know what the volume is, everybody. I mean, these still look okay, right? They don't have the raw source video anymore, so I understand that's tough. Boy, I don't remember that. Oh, I forgot it starts in media res here. Oh, interesting, interesting. Oh, this music is on the tip of my tongue. Oh, this game's so good. Uh. All right, new dock art, I think. Oi, oh, come on, Serge, dock. Oh, dock, everybody's favorite. Can't stop thinking about dock. Just to wait, Langs, today is gonna be a day of reckoning. Say your prayers, varmint. I can't do an Australian accent. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> God, I've heard this music a lot in my life. That, honestly, it looks better than I thought. Like, character models look better. New icons, new art for profile. Um, how do we... Okay, that's slow motion mode or speed up mode. Interesting. How do we... I'm sorry, I should have paid attention to that screen again. How do I change to the different version? Anybody remember? Okay, no battles. What is that? What is left? God, I should have looked at that stupid screen. All right, let's stay at normal speed for now. God, how do I do that? How do I do that? Main menu only? Oh, really? So it's not like Halo? I can't just pop it? Okay. That's fine. I'm trying to remember. You're really just gonna throw us in like this? You're really just gonna make us do this? Nope! Bop, 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 bam, bam, bam. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember where this place is. Is this the Flying Fortress? I guess we shouldn't spoil anything if no one's played this before. Hey, Pixelated Soul, thanks for being here. So far, it's running okay. I guess we should probably see combat, huh? Mm. Oh, Surge's weird weapon. That looks good, bro. That looks good, bro. That's better than I thought. What do you even call that weapon? Pixelated Soul such a spot on Switch. Can't wait to see it. Hell yeah. Alphabet. They don't make them like that anymore, boy. We're gonna be playing this game for so long. Oh, that's right! Honestly, I haven't played this game in, I mean, since 2000. That's when it came out, right? Am I remembering that right? It was 1999? Okay. 
Okay. Boy, yeah, I need a refresher on all this stuff. What are you doing, Surge? It's, um, if I had to describe the combat, I'd say... Oh, it's a godskin peeler? Double fish hook? Yeah. I'd say it's visceral, is if I had to describe it. Alright, so if we do three, it'll do more, but it's lower chance. But then I get a second chance. I'm trying to figure out what determines when I can get a second hit. I don't remember. Oh, it's that weird thing on the left. Oh, boy. There's a lot. There's a lot I'll need to be refreshed on, everybody. Can I pop an element for Doc? No. Okay. Had to look up a video on how the combat works. Oh, that's not a good sign. I assume, um... Just hit it. Just hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get it. Get it. Um... Yeah, I assume they'll, they'll go in and explain it after this, right? How long do you think it'll take to get to the stopping point? Yes, we should point that out. So, it's a four-part game club discussion. Which, again, you join by going to patreon.com slash max with two ends, and if you are watching this, we'd appreciate your support. Um, stamina bar at the bottom. They don't explain the combat. That's fascinating. Use remaining power and elements for this battle for healing. Oh, boy, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, max healing, but don't use anything? Okay. Um... But the stopping point, because it's a four-part discussion, the stopping point is after you get to, after you finish Viper Manor. Isn't this like a teleporter? I guess not. So finish Viper Manor, and then that's the stopping point. I've heard that it's like five hours or so, and that's going to be on Monday. We're gonna be looking for your comments uh, on Monday, I think it's April 11th, right? But don't take my word for it. Do we gotta activate the middle thing? Google tells me Surge's weapon is a swallow. That's right. Well, I knew that. That was a, was a subtle homage. All right, so we did that, right? So that'll power down and then this will power up. That's active now, right? That looks different. Oh, this speed up is honestly a godsend. Oh my God. Hello. Do that chrono teleportation, baby. Hey, Bob, don't take uh, don't take my word for it, but yeah, I think I think somewhere I saw that it was around five or six hours or something. So there's gonna be a lot to talk about. I'm excited to talk to Rebecca Valentine about it because she's a huge Chrono fan, and like Joe is too. But oh, I can't do it. Okay, so kid, she's not Cockney. She's Australian. So Australian, it's um. The size of a tangerine. I can't, I can't do it. It's, it's so easy to read that as Cockney, but you can't do it. You can't do it, everybody. You just can't do it. Wow, boogers. Um, also, if you're watching this, um, you can probably win a free code for this game. Well, probably. You can win a free code for this game. You're in the running, too. Um, if you follow Max on Twitter because we got five uh, free Steam codes from Square Enix. Thanks to them, it's very kind of them to help support The Deepest Dive this way. And all you have to do is retweet our tweet about The Deepest Dive. You'll see it on our Twitter account. Um, and then you're in the running to win a Steam code for Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is gonna be on Steam, everybody. Isn't that crazy? We passed to the floor just like a link in Breath of the Wild too. That's where they got the idea from. It's always tough, like, how much do I need to pay attention to this throwing you in the middle of the story thing? That's your call. Hey, that's your call. Sephiroth. Ooh, I forgot about this one. No! As long as, oh, as long as he doesn't smile afterwards. Oh! No, he smiled! This is messed up. That's like the darkest foreshadowing they can do. At some point you will stab your dear buddy. Or maybe you won't. Maybe that didn't happen. See, I have honestly, 
I don't think I've played this game since... Because I played this game before Chrono Trigger. So this will be, be my first time... It will be my first time playing this game since playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. This is going to be weird. Come on, Chrono fans. This is it. This is it. Hey, Ratscast, thanks for being here. Flip those shades open. Kadeesh. Good game confirmed. Can I sit in this? That's fun. Let there be light. Not a great bed, Surge. Hang on, I'm gonna write this down for a hot note. Bad bed for Surge. I mean, this is where he spent like his entire childhood. It's just on a mat that you could, I mean, People in Survivor sleep in better conditions. Um, I really want to see... Gosh. So you can only switch to the old graphics. Hi, Mama. Um, at the main menu, people are saying, huh? Marge. This is more of a remaster than I thought. Who remembers that his mom's name is Marge? Lena, you young man, we're still off at Never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Is that a cool thing? That you said that or not? Now, if you played Chrono Trigger, you know that it's all about petting cats. That's the core of the story. Is you're a damn fool if you didn't pet your cat. Jake Twitchin says, first survivor reference to the stream, current estimate for a total of three. Well, I mean, the starting town here is very survivor-esque. This is basically Fiji, as far as I understand it. Oh. Sergi, check out the sawfish, Sergi, check it out. Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nido, a better name, though. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. Boy, this sucker sure looks tasty. What are you gonna do, eat him? That's like seeing a whale and saying it looks tasty. Look how freaking big that thing is. Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? What do you think of the name El Nido? Legendary Dragon King Palace. I bet I'll kill that guy later. Wouldn't you agree? You wish. Yeah, I guess uh, legends are meant to be legends. Yeah, it definitely would have been too good to be true. Oh well, at least I know for sure that this one's a biggie. See, Surge is already starting out on a mean, mean first note. Live an honest life and something good is bound to happen. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. All right, oh, all my dear friends are back in town. Where does this go, I forget. Oh, there it is everybody. We can't leave Arnie Village yet. Is the music okay, everybody? Uh, volume alright and all that? Yo! Said the nice option got an item from that fish guy. Really? Damn it. Shouldn't have been mean. Well, now you're an Arnie. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, the boy who's lived here. Just don't go going near the Hydra marshes to the east. If you go outside, don't want you to... We're into those evil dwarves and that Hydra now. That sounds like a first dungeon, everybody. Why don't you go talk to the village chief? His house is just past those gates down yonder. Just past those gates down yonder. Hello, sir. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Sure feels great outside. Ah, just being able to bask in the sun all day sure is a nice change. I say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but at our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> I wonder if those soldiers are going, are back at work digging that hole now that the rains have subsided. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems like soldiers are digging up all of Fossil Valley. Valley. I can't figure out what they're thinking. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Can you sell me stuff, my queen? Hello there. I have some elements. Would you like an element? Show me your elements. Oh my god. UI really brings you back, doesn't it? Yeah, the text is like so crisp. It's interesting. Uh, I'm playing on Switch, Botaro. What are you going to play it on? <clears throat> Coming straight from PS1. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know if I should buy anything yet. 
This is um, where I learned the word allocated from this game. Can you see that when you're like 12? Oh, that's nice. Here you go on Switch, yeah, makes sense. So I'm trying to remember, so this is like one-time use. There's a lot. There's a lot I don't remember about this game, everybody. It turns out it's like, oh, the music I remember and the characters I remember pretty well. Outside of that, like systems-wise, I don't know. Do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki. There's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no, if I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. You can't let her start liking Lolo. It ain't right to like a Lolo. Oh my God, look at this freak. This is like poggers. Look at that little weirdo. Yo, Serge! Heard anything about the group of thieves? Oh, there's so many. Just, they're, they're planting seeds left and right. Uh, I haven't. You haven't been keeping up, have you? Even in El Nido, the mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold blooded bastards. They go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of poor can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. My God. Uh, yeah, my dog hates me. I might need some help for recruiting people. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. Mojo's in the town, right? I think he's in like one of the houses already, isn't he? The bear festival will be canceled again this year. There's been anything good to talk about since the army from poor took over the island three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with the situation. General Viper. That's right, General Viper. The Dragoons were still here. So many names. Hamana, Hamana, Hamana. You know, you know everybody when you see somebody attractive. Talk to the guy next to the big fish and get the shark tooth from Ojo. My dog hates me. Did I lose out on getting Mojo because I told that guy that somebody else had bought a had already caught a bigger fish? Why didn't I call this the Radical Streamer? Damn it, that would be so much better. That'd be so much better. She sure is pretty. What a knockout dancer Miki is. Port Town of Termina has its shared dancers, but no one, no one can to Miki. Hey, Brono. Thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it, Brono. We don't talk about Brono. Oh, I'd love to see... Ugh. This. Look at this. Look at this, everybody. Come on. You can't perv out in a game. That was... Wait, Orca? No. No. Why don't you try my Hecron soup? That's my specialty. Soup made exclusively from Hecron bone. Mmm, bone soup. I'm gonna brag. Nobody can make soup like I can. Cha ha 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 ha. That's such an old school RPG thing of the different ways of laughing. You know what I mean? I think I just gotta type it out differently for everybody. Oh, Grant. Yeah, I'm sorry, Grant. You had to see that. How about Miki? I uh, know this isn't the PC version. This is the Switch version. Why, hello, Serge. Do you really want to hear the real truth about the world? Um, is this some QAnon stuff? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The, light, the least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Oh, Chris N, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. But look at me. Oh, that's right, I forgot you can walk around. That was a big deal back then. You could walk away while they're talking. These are these are important things if you played RPGs back in the day. All right, but look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit anytime, you know. Hey, yikes. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. <laughs> I don't want to talk to the barrel. Although, no, I'm curious what's going on here. 
What do you mean no answer? It's just a barrel. Seems like an odd thing to say to a barrel. All right, little Poggers 2.0 here. Hell yeah, Crater Gaming. Hell yeah, it's time. Get that on my head. Get that on my head. Armor. Accessories. Pretty much invincible. Thank you, thank you. And now you will be eaten for sport. Yep. Hey, Crater Gaming. Thanks for the big sub, bud. Appreciate it. Hey, Red Cord, thanks for being here. How'd you find us, Red Cord? Um, so yeah, did I lose out on Mojo because of that stupid fish thing? Because that'd be really stupid. Oh, under the bed. I'm sorry. See, this is this is the beauty of streaming. Because you all can tell me exactly what to do. Wait, really? Everyone's talking about under this bed. Is that the bed? Check the barrel a bunch of times. Really? Hecron Bone! Can I feed it to you? No. Check the barrel a bunch of times. What a weird game. What? Okay. No answer. Just a barrel. Then keep talking. I'm taking notes for the deepest dive to find uplift. Interesting. Interesting. Hecron Bone for Poshal. Oh, that's right. Manic says, I want to play and participate in the deepest time, but also have two kids and zero free time. That's fine. It'll always be there for you. You know, if you want to unlock the podcast version of it, it'll list, it'll last as long as uh, you're at that tier, so no big deal. And if you, I mean, if you make it 30 minutes, you could write a comment about that and we could read it. You don't have to get to the stopping point for the first episode or nothing. Critter Game, do you think the remaster still makes upscalers freak out? when you open up the menu like the original did? Maybe. This is my first deepest dive, says Tony the Swordsman. Hell yeah. Also had questions for in memory when I first played it. It'll be flawless. Isn't there a remaster or a remake of this coming out soon? Red Cord. You're, you're in one, buddy. This is the remaster. You got it. Check under my bedroom bed. Oh, that's right. This little thing. Isn't my Celine cute? Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like their hangout or whatever. You know what, Sergi? Don't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you. It's a secret. I'm on the Komodo side. Lilla said he was going to give me some Komodo dragon skills. He. What should I do? Yeah! Okay, sorry. This weird thing hissing at me. Hello there. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the youngins these days. You're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right. Give me one, please. What's time to beat on this? It's uh, 37 hours. Well said, Serge, you truly are a man of the sea. They don't call me a Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Serge. This is truly top secret. If anybody ever forgets this advice, you're as good as dead. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. There's always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, woman in... Hang on, I'm taking more notes. Woman in... Cafe, reading, dire, poetry... All right, beware, Komodo dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning, start running the wind. I'm just gonna attack them, I think. Tony says, it's gonna unwind after work, hell yeah. Do we know if they use an AI program to improve the pre-render backgrounds? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, yeah, finishing Viper Mansion's the end point. So once you catch up to one, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt. But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> oh my. That's what all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go, Surge. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Buddy, I'm gonna do that. 
Everybody's telling you a lot of things to do. There's a lot of people to talk to here. There's other places? Kids will be kids. This is like, um... It's like Elden Ring. What with all these possible quests and little tips. See, this fish is bigger than the one he caught. I shouldn't lose out on Mojo's because I insulted his fish. Would this be a good first RPG, JRPG? I mean, I think any old JRPG is going to be a little bit trickier, so I don't know if I'd recommend that necessarily, but... Let's see. Okay. Why would you want to slow things down? Isn't that weird? Would that ever be helpful? This is the guy I meant, Ben. What does that mean? The port to me looks like a demaster of the game compared to the high-res text mod for the game. Yeah, well, you know, you, you play any way you want, man. Ah, uh, hi, Sergio. I lost my thoughts there. Oh, this is the one that you gotta talk to for the shark tooth. Okay, got it. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that, too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. I never thought about that way. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you could say that everything here represents 10 years of my life. I guess we all say that sometimes. Lion shark, sawfish, six horned narwhales, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki, little Kiki never been to Times Square, about how I could have had a different future. What if I'd chosen a different path 10 years ago? Maybe living a completely different life than I am now. Pay attention, everybody. Maybe. Maybe that's what this game's about. I'm not saying which one would have been better. I just wonder what the other path may have led for me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. Hang on. Let me write this down. This seems to be the core of the game. The longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been fisherman. Not a foreshadow, not a foreshadow. Life sure is, ah oh crap, I shouldn't have skipped that. What do you say? <laughs> he was about to tell us the meaning of life and I missed it. Oh, hey sir, do you want this? I don't know, here take it. It's an I made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. Great, thank you. Shark tooth. I can't imagine that will ever be helpful. Dun, 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 dun. Try it. It's a five shadow. Uh, no, I'm playing on Switch. This is a Switch version. It's running dandy so far. I know people said there were some frame rate issues later on and whatnot. What about this bag lady? What's she all about? Yo, Sergi. Ben, remember to hit square to pull up items to use when talking to people. Oh my god. Okay. You just totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy. I guess that kind of shows who's the boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit too quick to lash out. Could you, like, make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. You bet. That's... Time Shifter. I tried using the Time Shifter. I don't know if anything good happened. Alright, I gotta go check my bed, you're saying? Yeah, boy, they don't really tell you that. Okay, so square to use items when talking to people. These are my hot notes. Thus are my hot notes. This is my house, right? Give me a little potion bone. What do you think? What's it gonna be? Those secret savings. Check the pots in the room. Nah. Nah, no rest for the wicked. Thank you. Jesus, my dog hates me. How do you know all of these secrets? That's very impressive. position window frame what does that mean oh I see oh this is interesting 
Is this too chrono? Let's see what that's like. I mean, I kind of like the kind of wooden look to it, but... I do like that. I do like that. Don't you? Don't y'all? She'd never do that. Yep, that's that's what defines Chrono, is closing curtains. Are we confident? Well, I hope you keep your nerve. It kind of ruins the aesthetics a little bit. Like, Chrono is such a distinct vibe, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody we changed the fonts. Um, so, she's down here. Is this where the beach is? Piers up ahead. Listen, don't be messing with these boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. Pull any stunts like that, like last time, and I'll whack you in the damn head! Uh, thank you! My god, Chris! Cro Cochin? Coakland? For the big sub? Yippee! Hell yeah. And then Forrest with two R's. Also, thank you for the sub. Hey, we appreciate it. Get the scuba gear out, because we're going on that deep dive. Just like that kid did. In fact, I'm going to write that down. Because that is absolutely a kid taking a dive, isn't it? So, like... So I can take that little image. Kid taking dive. Yeah, that's, you're right. It's the vibe. That's what we like about Chrono Cross, you know? You late surge, sleeping in as usual, I suppose. We promised to go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo, Sergi Lena, look at me. I'm deepest diving right now. Woohoo. Yowie. It feels good. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, yeah, we've lived here our entire lives. We know what it's like to swim in the ocean, dude. Lord Jiren, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it, buddy. Mwah. Don't swim out too far now. That's where the bad things are. The Komodo dragons are gonna come bite you. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness. Back when it was filled with newness. What are the options for things like God mode, no encounters? Honestly, I should have taken a picture in the beginning. Chris, because I forget. You can turn off random battles. You can speed things up. You can slow things down. What else is there, everybody? Help me out. Um, but the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's funny. We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you've collected some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Yeah. You bet. Good. Okay then, don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. I think three should be enough. Gosh, I already feel like I have a ton, don't I? I want to get to a save point so I can mess with the, the visuals and go back. Beautiful day. Cut my dozen off there. By the way, Serge, what you like the sea? What kind of trick question is this? Yeah, the sea sure is great. Just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. Once it becomes angry. The sea was angry that day, my friends. It can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of the countless men <laughs> swallowed by the sea? Jesus Christ. Oh, there's an autosave? That's nice. It's just sh extreme darkness out of nowhere every once in a while with this game. You hear the cry. Hang on, I'm taking the notes on these of countless men swallowed by the sea. Hmm. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. All right, buddy, hey. I'm just trying to play with dragon scales and have a good time here. Sorry, I'll stop singing along. Wish legend was true though, the Dragon King Palace. Yeah, sorry, I already talked to you, didn't I? Potion's here, everybody! The king returns, and... Ra Ra Radan? 
What's the old man's name? Poshal! Come here! 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 Me am a bit busy right now. Maybe next time. All right. If the stupidest character in the game is too busy for you. Oh my God! You guys are smart. If that a Hecran bone? Surgipu! God, I forgot about Surgipu. Feed bone. Surgipu. This was the fun part. I forgot. It's just like finding the weird ways to unlock these characters. To accept or not to accept. So the dog has a lisp. Is that what's going on? Me accept your present and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. All right, easy, buddy. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergipu. Baby game. I would love to change these, but I need to help remind myself about these character names so I can't change it. So I'm locking all these babies in. Sorry, I know it's sacrilegious on a stream. Are you stealing my dog, sir? It's boring playing alone. Come on, Poshal, let's play. He can't. Me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be busy right now. We'll play later. We'll play after I finish saving the world or whatever this game's about. Uh, hey, old guy, you should come join me too. Radius! Oh, I need to write down these character names. Well. Man, having that song come back for Cross is so good. Hell yeah, Greater Gaming. Top left hut has more stuff. God dang, my dog hates me. How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Tomorrow, or today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and our developments. Hey, this is it. This is that tutorial we were saying wasn't in the game. Absolutely. What's going on with it? The me will watch from here. Good rock. Uh oh. Really long battle tutorial? What have I done? I feel like I gotta do it. It looks good. It looks good, y'all. Alright. Radius, you won't like me when I'm angry. Stamina. So it takes three icy, so I can do two, yep, and then two. Okay. Wait, no. First, here's some basic advice on attacking, so listen up, youngin. You know that the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce, each have a different accuracy or hit percentage values, don't you? Every time you hit your opponent, each of those values increases it, makes it easier for your next attack to hit its mark. Good strategy to start with the weak blows, which have the highest chance of succeeding, that build up to the strong and fierce blows. That's right, here we go. So rather than attacking willy-nilly, you should aim to build up your hit percentage. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting your energy. Get out of here, don't hit me with your pain. Yeah, dirty old man. Okay, here we go. What does the highlighted one mean? It is extremely Master Roshi, isn't it? Okay, so let's do that. So my stamina, I only have one left. That's what I'm learning here. So I can't do this if I wanted to, okay. The UI on the left, I'm still a little curious about. Yellow means it will use the rest of your stamina. Ah, thank you. Okay. You're not even close. Don't be trusting in your hit percentage too much there, boy. As long as it's not 100%, you still on the risk of missing continuously. Sometimes it pays to muster up the courage to use strong two and fierce three attacks right from the start, too. Well, just tell me what to do, man. Don't fierce three me. All right, I, sh I shouldn't do that yet. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'll just do it right away. What do you mean miss? Is this a game where, yeah, 65 doesn't really mean 65, does it? Next, check out the use of elements. When you use an element, the color on the element attribute remains on the battlefield in the form of the field effect. That's right. Field effect. Field effect Andromeda. Each time you consecutively use the same color element, the effectiveness of that color to element group. So it doesn't need to be full. That's just to do the summons later, right? Here, I'll show you. Let's fill up all the field effect attributes with the color blue. Try using a blue element after me. All right, maybe I will. I missed it 80% four times in a row earlier today. Yeah, it seems it seems nonsensical. Percentages are a bit wonky. 
I say take 10% off each percentage shown. That's interesting. Why not just do the real percentage? What are they scared of? Hang on, I'm gonna write that down. The real chance percentage. It's not, it's not very cool of them. You know? All right, here we go. Um, he wants me to use my cure. That sound is so funny. Okay, so th is this an item then? Yeah, consumable. Got it. Got it. That little charge move is funny. Hey there, hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes blue for crying out loud. Don't you know how to use them elements or something, youngin? If that's the case, then listen up. Take some explaining. Wait, didn't I already do that? Pretty good. Choose attack, do some physical damage to your opponent in order to get started. Weak. Uh, Grand level is the number that appears above the level symbol under your name there. Oh, wait. So I can only use the level of the... Okay, attribute. On your effect, I tell you, you don't accumulate any power unless you actually succeed in your opponent, so be careful, you can't afford to miss. Discharging this accumulated power is what using elements is all about. Once you built up some power, you're able to choose the element option from the battle menu. You select the element option, gray colored rectangle plates appear on the screen, don't they? Don't they? This plates are the elements you currently have allocated. So why don't you try using one of those blue elements you have there, boy? Relax. They won't just appear and use them. You just won't be able to use them again for the rest of this battle. So it's one, one per battle? Okay. Okay. Once you enter their battle, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back now. But even though I say this, I still have to stress that you've got to consider the appropriate time to use your elements. Otherwise, you'll never be able to beat some of the harder enemies you're bound to meet. You've got to form the proper strategy, boy. So elements disappear. Yep, got it. Yep, consumable, and they have all. They don't regenerate. However, the benefit of each community is that you can allocate up to five of them to the same element grid space. Doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements, which normally can only be used once per battle. This is why consumable elements also number this number you currently hold in that grid position. Got it. Got it. Oh my god, Radius. Sure you notice that each time you use an element, your element power is shown by the level number will go down. It's just simple subtraction, really. For instance, say you're currently at level 3, you said use a tablet and I'm looking at level one your element grid in this case three minus one <laughs> this is this is video games everybody okay so in this case three minus one leaves two so your current element power level will now be changed to level two you can use elements anytime so long as your stamina value is above one so in this case you'll still be able to use the elements with the power level up to level two if you're using the level okay yeah Get the gist of it, Sonny? See the importance of developing good battle tactics? It does seem more complicated than I remember. You can build up a little power, then use an element, build up a little more power, use another element, repeating this over and over and over again. That's okay. Or you can build up your element power to its maximum level and unleash a barrage of elements one after the other. There's no problem either. Use whatever strategy you think works. It's up to you. There are hordes of monsters out there that you'll never be able to defeat with physical attacks alone. You're gonna need to master elements to get by. Well, sorry for the long lecture, Sonny. Why don't you try and destroy me? Blue field! There we go. So we gotta do the attack, so let's level one. I'm getting this now. Level one. Element. And is there a reason I can't use this? It's level two. How do I see what level it is? Wouldn't it be level two? Okay, let's do that. Because I already used Cure. Ah, I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. The explanations more confusing than the system. That's always the case. Hey, Davey G the one. Thanks for being here. How'd you find us? See, the field is completely blue. Any blue elements you use now will surely pack a punch. Well, I can't do it. Hey, Aqua Ball. Ooch. Ooch. Interesting when there's a lot of blue in the field effect attributes, elements of the opposite color red will be weakened. That's right. Okay. So, if the field effect is blue, red will be weakened. 
This is such a funky combat. It's amazing that they change up the combat when like Chrono Trigger's combat is so basic and good. But it is maybe a little too simple. It's probably what they'd say. Davey says, just checking out the game to see how it is. PS1 Originals are my favorites of all time. I've beaten it so many times. Hey, hey. Davey, if you're not familiar with us, um, we're doing something called The Deepest Dive. Where we're creating the best, most thorough discussion about this game on the internet. It's not this stream. It's going to be a huge community game club. It's a four-parter thing. And it's going to be on our YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com slash minmax with two ends, you can subscribe, find it. It'll be posted part one next week and then continuing on. And if you support us on Patreon, Davey, you can submit comments for us to read. And we'll read it during our discussion. It's going to be with myself and Joe Juba, Kyle Hilliard, and Rebecca Valentine from IGN. It'll be a good time. We, we hope you'll be there, Davey G. We're counting on you, buddy. And Davey, and Davey, if you want to help support game clubs like this and us actually leaning into Chrono Cross in a bigger way than any other media outlet out there on the internet, you can go to patreon.com slash minmax with two ends, where you can also unlock the podcast version. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time, JVG. So try to discern your enemy's attack pattern and fill the field with the opposite color of his attacks as a form of defense. This strategy of using elements <laughs> uh, is sure to come in handy. So put it to good use, Sunny. You got it. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Davey G says, keep talking. Yeah, man. Check it out. Check it out on YouTube. We got a trailer right there. Chrono's back, baby. All right. Now, it looks like I'm about dead. So this is certainly the moment when I should probably up my level. Then take a little tabby. Ben, can you do an impromptu photo mode snap with your Switch photos right now? It's not a real photo mode snap, but we should do another one of those. Oh, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I should, because it's all just spoilers. <laughs> hey, let's just go back. Um, let's go back and look at her poetry. It's sanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the echo of the e echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. There we go. That's what it is. In there, boy. Anyways, it's time to bring this lesson. Oh my god. We got it. We got it. Radius. Wow. And then he just murders a child. What was the point of teaching him everything? We're just gonna kill him at the end. <clears throat> pooped already, Serge pooped. You fool. You damn fool. Join my team about, about, about now, please. Um. What? No. I don't want to take that again. Just join my team, Radius. You hack. How do I feel about the leveling system? Honestly, I don't remember it. I don't remember how it works. Hi, Surge. Hi, Ganji. No and see y'all. I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. See? All right, so they do teach you this. If you give someone an item, just bring up the item menu and pick the item. Goes well. Same procedure for when you want to use a key item, select what you use. You need to Worried about making mistakes, I don't want to disappear if there's no response, but that's about it. Come to me anytime. If you have any questions, ha 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 fa ha ha fa ha ha ha. The record of fate tells me not to go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for the chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate, you'll regret it for sure. The leveling system is going to be the most polarizing thing. Is it going to be the most common comment, do you think? I genuinely don't remember it. I'm really curious. Nintendo Fist says, Ben, I didn't miss that Jethro, Jethro Tull reference. Okay, it's still the work day, so bye. Enjoy gaming. I will. Thank you. That's uh, Nintendo Doofus, everybody. N Nintendo Doofus, um, co host of Crossfade, everybody. Our podcast is all about video game music. And uh, just so you know, Nintendo Doofus, um, one time uh, the guest didn't work out, and I didn't want to spoil it for you, but we had a potential guest for Crossfade once, and what she was gonna choose, she was gonna choose this Chrono Cross soundtrack for the album that she talked about on Crossfade, our music podcast, which you can subscribe to in your favorite podcast app. And I thought that would've been such a cool choice. All right, days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. Yeah, that's true. I did everything, just as Chief Radius told me, and now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is, mm-mm-mm. Skilled, competent, caring. I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You can learn much from our chief. All right, this guy's a little, little culty. 
see. My dog hates me. I don't even I don't even need you there, bud. I know to check a bucket when I see it. My name's Tom with a 14th. People usually put the great explorer in front of my name. No, they don't. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know. On VHS. I wasn't gardening. I, I was really looking for treasure. <laughs> Wait. What's the trigger reference? My dog hit Grid Explorer Toma? Is he in Chrono Trigger? We just did that for the deepest dive a couple of years ago, but I don't, I don't remember a Grid Explorer Toma. I'm sure it was a thing. Toma references a deep cut. Really? Man, missed that completely. His background as a character arc looks so good. Never played it back in the day because the game wasn't released in Europe. Really? You try again. Glad you found us. Yeah, it does. They did more to, to bring it up to date than I expected. I mean, it's still an old game, but... Oh, we got to give Potial something good. Okay. How do I... is so funny. Toma was in Chrono Trigger. This is his descendant. Is that right? Is that right? Aqua Beam plus two. All right, and then let's give, let's give little baby Potial. Let's give him level one uplift. And then, God, the sound of that menu is so funny. I gotta write that down. Breathy sound when navigating. Allocation menu is funny to me. Um, Surge of Smile makes him seem derpier than I remember. I can, I can dig it. All right, so. Now, why can't I put the tablet there? What the hell's going on here? Okay, so tablet can only go there, maybe? This update illustration is a little more cutesy than normal. Yeah, I can see that. Can I give you anything, Potion? Can I you just want to make yourself comfortable? I'm going to record what you've done so far. Set up to a record of fate and open up the menu. Then select the block. Easy, isn't it? You should go look for another one. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, yeah, and if you go to the world map, you can say without a record of fate. There we go. That's what I like to hear. Tablet in a level one slot only. Did they explain that somewhere? It seems confusing. It's exactly right, Surge. There it is. The record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you happen to cross one of these, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. Think about how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There won't be anything you could do about it. Jesus. All right. Listen closely, the records of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next. And when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. Jesus. What happens if you just go home and go to sleep? There isn't anything you can do to change fate. This game is weird, you guys. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years. I expect him to say like four, 40 or 400 or something. He's such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Maybe he can. Where's that mojo at? Oh, they said there was more in the house. That's right. Okay, I gotta run over there. We came all the way out here in search of the legendary treasure. Consumable elements can't be in different level slots. Okay, gotcha. Luck runs out. Want them to clean the artwork. Maybe there's something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would try to persuade Sir Toma to look for treasure on the Xenon continent. Ah, oh, it's you, Surge. He said he's going to teach him self-defense. He may be old, but he still has some fight left in him. You kids better not misbehave, or else that chief will have to crack down on all ya. On all y'all. Hell yeah, he will. But he can't do that if I got Potion with me. My beautiful, beautiful little baby boy. Check the scrolls on the wall. Hey, Faded. Thanks for the big sub on Twitch, Faded. Appreciate it. But the eight months. My god. Um, every time people throw a sub our way, by the way, uh, you get a different gif from, that's an enemy from a deep cut, which is Alpha Dream's Tomato Adventure RPG. It's randomized which one you get, so, you know, collect them all and all that fun stuff. It says, the ecstasy and anxiety of the chosen one. 
A mega babe is in love with me. We, oui, I'm on cloud nine, but I... <laughs> Tells of how naive the hearts of men are. Only Chief Radius can come up with a golden saying like that. What? Oh! Hell yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I need to write this down for the deepest dive. Wall scroll from Radius? He wrote this? Very Master Roshi. The ecstasy and anxiety of the chosen one. A mega babe is in love with me. We've all been there, right? We. I'm on cloud nine. But I don't, I wanna see how this was translated. of how naive the hearts of men are. Ha. Huh. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 ba. Is that a twitch bit? <laughs> yeah. The save point? That's funny. That is true. That is, there is truth in that. The save point looks like a twitch bit. Um, okay, so is that my house? No, this one is still to go to, right? Unless this was my house, but I don't think it is. Look at this. Is Mojo in another? Not in this world. Photon ray. There's so much crap hidden. This is my house. Enter at your own risk. Oh, I see. It's literally Poshul's house. Mojo's, okay, yeah. Good morning, Surge. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like your mother asked her to babysit. See, yeah, I think like the upscaling gets a little funky when you look at stuff like this chair. It's a little warbly, you know what I mean? It's a little, little funkazilla there. Lena, I see you. All right, let's get out to that world map, and then we can check. Let's play this entire game in slow motion to really see where it. Isn't that a weird thing? God, that speed up is so nice. It's definitely Wolfenstein every room, a lot of hidden items. Yeah, I can, I can dig it. Oh, God. Has anybody ever told you this game soundtrack rules? Is this? What is going on here? Oh, that's the auto save. Okay, and then how do I quit out? It told me the beginning, but I forget. Let's just try closing it this way and being lazy. Does anybody have this? Do you remember what the shortcut was to do it? Hit escape. <laughs> well, I'm playing on uh, old Switcheroo. Do you think Final Fantasy Remake 2 will have an overworld? I don't. I don't think so. I think Final Fantasy Remake 3 will be an open world game. All right, let's go classic graphics. Let's just see what that looks like, everybody. I think it's all the shoulder buttons and the plus button. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jay Novelis. By the way, I gotta write this down for my big list of games that I've technically played this year or ever. I like to take notes on those things. Interesting. Already looks great. Already looks great. Really? That's originally what it looked like? Okay, so that's the original art. I see now. Wait a minute. Those characters still look upscaled, don't they? Let's see here. Make sure Ben turns her down. Turns her down the first time, chat. Okay. So, okay, so you can't... Are these characters, do they look different? It's just the background, right? That doesn't have the upscaling? Also... Yeah, yeah, you're right. The CRT fudge, that does seem crucial. 
Because see, like, let's look at this chair. Yeah, see there, it's like, okay, that looks fine, but it's all pixelated, right? Does this, why does Serge's face look so weird here? What have they done to my boy? Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how to. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. That's how you reset it. Okay, so it's all the shoulder buttons and then the plus button. Let's Im immediately go back. Immediately go back to the better looking version here. And now there's an in-game filter option. Doesn't look too different. Yeah, just the backgrounds mainly. Maybe like through a Twitch stream, it's less noticeable, but. Okay. My dog hates me, says, turn kid down first time. Okay. We can do that. 1999 is when this came out, huh? Okay. I'll believe it. I'll believe it. God, that was a long time ago. Okay. So. Can somebody look up the controls for the Switch version? I'd appreciate it. Because um, I'm trying to remember what the different options are. Cape Howell, I don't think we want to go there yet. Lizard Rock, Fossil Valley South. Oh man, what is this? Hydro Marshes, we're probably not ready for that yet, are we? <laughs> Manic Tea, you can't bring that up. That's a party chat exclusive chat. There um, we go. Just postal story, baby. We're just living in it. This is where we're going, right? To get those Komodo scales for Lena. Just simple push aside. Do these characters look different? I don't think so. God, I've listened to the soundtrack a lot. Separate from the game, you know? All right, let's do it. First real combat of the show, here we go. Character models are more obvious in battles. Yeah, that's probably true. Hmm, I hear that, man. Ah, uh, the beach bum. How could I forget? Little sand squirt. I hate sand squirt. It gets everywhere. Excuse me? Is that really doing that little? So he's innately blue. Don't matter much. He's innately dead, baby. All right, really, let's savor this. Slow it down, slow it down, speed it up. All right. Yeah, I mean, this is this is gonna be the way I'm gonna be doing all of these battles. It's just at this high speed thing. Oosh. Bam. I'm curious about like how it um, battle system for Xenosaga. It seems like Xenosaga. That's a great reference point. You're right, it does. God, I'm, I don't remember the specifics of Xenosaga, but that sounds right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna write that down, because I think Joe would be able to remind us how that works. Twitch chat says combat system is like Xenosaga. I guess I could take out my PS2. We could boot up my old save from Xenosaga. Um... Yeah, there's no downside to this, right? Got a humor, got a fang. Photon Ray, she's a bright laser, I mean, that is a pretty funny thing to give to a stupid dog. Wait, I guess we gotta do that. Does Pushal need cure? No. Social do need no cure, right? Reminds me of Xenogears combat as well. Yeah, I mean, Mastokado did work on Xenogears, so. He's the, he's the director here, so probably has some connection there. Same, yep, same composer as Trigger. Um, Mitsuda. Now I got Fireball. There's too many elements to deal with. Oh, I need you, buddy. I need you, buddy. Can I not follow him? Oh, here's what I gotta do. I've played this game before. 
23 years ago, but brain remembers. So now, do I think I just leave the screen and come back and that little freak's gonna be back? I bet that's the way it is. This game taught me the word to locate. Hey, fifth in line? I just said that. I just said that before you got here. Same here. It absolutely taught me the word to locate. Allocate, sorry. Oh, hang on. Well, this is quite the conundrum, isn't it? Can I chase him back down? Hey, thanks for the big sub, Opaque Ghost. Appreciate it. We always appreciate throwing a follower or a sub our way. It, uh, it's, it's a more direct way to support us even than the Patreon, so hey, we appreciate it. And we're gonna be back later today with a with a big, oh, you're hosed. You're freaking done, son. Get him. Corner him. Thanks, Opaque Ghost. The RPGs taught me how to read. Yep. Hear that? Hear that, brother. I learn from books, but teach their own. All right. Um, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. So that's what I'm... When is it not my turn? That's the part I'm struggling with, I think. Is there any indicator of when it's not my turn coming up? When do I... When is my turn interrupted? That's my big question. Let's take a little screenshot. Jeopardy just taught me to be in love with Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Hey, that's actually a good tweet. Do you mind if I use that? Not the specific thing, but JRPGs, JRPGs taught me. I think that's a funny prompt. I think people will be fun. I think people will be fun with that. I love that shaky cam coming in. That's so cool. Here, tablet. I should, um, he's got a little too much. I should give him another attack, shouldn't I? Let's aqua beam this sucker. Let's frickin' do it. Good as good as gone, they say. Yep. Uplift means rock. There we go. It's funny. I like that it's like a perfect square cut into the ground. Perfect little square enix cut into the ground there. So yep. How does my the stamina gauge was old Poochie there? Was he like minus three point one? How did that happen? I did store that away safely. Okay. I mean, I can't. I am shocked that I understood anything about this game, to be honest. Well, actually, I kind of like the tablet there for you. Um, what if we got rid of your cure? And then, what if Poshal... What if Poshal had the cure? Instead of the tablet. Right, okay, tablet here. And then, what does he got here? Photon ray plus two. It's not like a place with the frame rate, but the 415 so far looks fine. What's your take? Honestly, I haven't noticed anything with the frame rate so far. And I mean, early sections, maybe these are the most polished and stuff, but... Yeah, seems totally fine for me. I'm playing on Switch. Hmm. Yeah, I was expecting this to be a complete disaster. All right, so we got that weirdo here. So we can turn on no combat, or auto combat. That's what the other button was. Let's see, should we see how that is? So auto combat's turned on. Oh, sorry, I missed the ladder going down. Can you do the Final Fantasy VII thing of turning on a way to see where all the entrances and exits are? Do you know what I mean? Oh, that Technicolor change is very funny. I don't think you can, can you? Cursor position. No. I feel like that'd be helpful. Okay, auto battle. Let's see how it goes. Get out of here, buddy. 
great. It's the worst, <laughs> the worst timing of all time. Okay, so let's see how our little potion baby does it. I gotta say, auto speed and turning on auto battle. This is now this is an RPG, everybody. There it is. Auto battle's a new feature. Yep. Yeah, brand spanking new. I can't, I can't have potion in the lead anymore. It's embarrassing to my family. I don't want them to see me like this. Alright, what is this guy's path? Did he go down here? Give it a gambit system, you got a Final Fantasy 12. Yeah, I agree, a good game. Final Fantasy 12 taught me how to program. Alright, we could fight these beach bums our entire lives. Wait, is this the starting area? It is, isn't it? By God. I'd love a new Mario RPG. Hopefully the director gets his way, his chance to make a new one. That interview you did with him was awesome, Ben. He seems like a really fun person. He he does, doesn't he? Yeah, and if you please follow him on Twitter, because his his drum tweets are hilarious. Just like the sweetest things in the world. How do I get that treasure chest, do you reckon? Yeah, it'd be fun to do another interview with that guy, even. Double dip. Can I not get those treasure chests in this world? Is that a thing? Or can I? No. Excuse me? That's also just an exit? Not in this world or the next, noob. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Oh my god! You guys! Remember this spot? This is funny. Hang on, this will be another good gif. Oh, PlayStation had a blog post about this? Because they lost a bunch of assets? That's interesting. I do want to check that out. Thanks, Rito. Glad you like our developer interviews. Okay, here's the gif. And action. Deepest dive! Alright. How deep can he go? Am I still moving? <laughs> I know the guy told me to be scared of the ocean. Okay, that's the end there. That's perfect. How perfect. Surge done dove deep. All right, I gotta write that down. 124. Uh, deepest dive. Do you go far enough? Does this become Subnautica? I think so, Kessie. I think so. All right. Well, surely that beach will be relevant later. Okay, so Lizard Rock, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, so we always start at the same entrance. Get out of here, you weirdo. I should probably focus on those battles a little bit, right? Komodo, baby! Alright. Where are you going now? Oh, look at him. He showed us his path. Wait. Can he go down there and I can't? Ah, oh, that rock. Super Ness, thank you for the big sub. Appreciate it. New your treasure chest if you interact with the hole in the ground. I gotta interact with the hole in the ground, you say? Is this it? Is that gonna float up? Or is that gonna sink it? <gasps> I think Random Encounter stopped giving you stats after a while, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Really? What does that mean? 
There's no experience from random battles at a certain point? That seems odd. Oh, ooh, I'll take that. Poshul, can you do anything with your life yet? Here's a bone. It's for foraging. In the screen above with the chest in the water. Stat growth is tied to the star level, I believe, which increases with each boss you fight. Oh my god, that stuff I do not remember at all. You're all gonna have to help me out on that one. Alright. Auto battle. This is helpful for the, for the stream, right? Fly past it. Give me a chance to read chat, all that fun stuff. You'll stop getting stat boost till you fight another boss. I've never seen another RPG actively discourage grinding the way this one does. There's a black circle hole in the ground. That's interesting. Okay. So, star levels discourage grinding. Stop getting stat boost. But I can still keep grinding if I just don't, don't go fight that boss. Is that the right? Is that the right mentality? Sean played it three years ago. Interesting. Pokemon Company's inspiration for Wobba Fett, <laughs> says Rick Knowles. That's true. All right. Give me those tablets. Uh, what am I going to do with all these tablets? All right, so let's go to the screen up here. Interact with the black hole in the ground. Black hole in the ground. This one? talking about here no good god i remember the op scarecrow says manic that's interesting i don't remember being op but maybe i should get ready to use him huh Wait, i still after the tutorial didn't explain what the things on the left are is that when i know it's the end of my turn the left side Left side says a lot of Viathan. All right, let's see. Should I be using that max heal every time? Oops. Uh, max heal without using consumables. Is there just no reason not to use that? All right, let's head up here. Black hole in the ground. That's a hole? That's outrageous. That's unforgivable. Are you kidding me? I know we all know this game, but come on. That's truly absurd if we're supposed to know that that's something that you can interact with. It looks... Look at the difference between that and the bush right below it. Am I nuts? That's it, I never would have picked up on that. Wow. Hello? This game has some stupid hidden items. Like talking to the jar in the village four times. Yeah. Did I already get that iron helmet? Ivory helmet. But you, my lady love, put a helmet on a dog. We're playing a game. Ugh, no way out. No way out. No way out from this guy. Yeah, Easter egg level. No kidding. No kidding, man. You're not joking about that. Does anybody know if uh, old Cal Bossman's going to be playing this guy? Uh, Sean asks, how'd you get the dog in your party? That was because my dog hates me as an expert on this game in the Twitch chat, and he told me, but you gotta go pick up a bone from underneath a bed. I think it's in the cafe, maybe? And then you use, you press square to use key items on people around the world. And then when you go, he says, I don't have time for you. Then you just offer him that bone. And then the dog likes that. All right. 
The dog don't eat meat, but he sure likes the bone. How the hell? Can we can we not get down this way? Bossman's deep into Final Fantasy VI on Mondays right now. Usually plays only a single JRPG at a time. That makes sense. That seems shocking. Seems like he would play this. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Yeah, I can use a time shifter right now. Hey, um, chat? Oh my god. Alright, that worked. Plessy! Thanks for the big sub. Appreciate it, Plessy. Glad you found us, bud. Alright, so we moved that rock. Let's go see how this is doing. Hello? Are you uh, joining us for the deepest dive there, Plessy? How the hell? This goes back to where we were, right? Yeah. But wait, that's where we started? No, that's where we started. I'm still a little confused how this whole thing's laid out, to be honest with you. Just bought the game so I can join the dive. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Hope you enjoy the journey. What the hell? Is this gonna be a secret? Oh, sorry, that's Forrest with two R's that just bought the game. Thanks, Forrest. That's very kind of you. Not that, uh, you know, we're Square Enix or nothing. But again, if you wanna play, but you don't wanna buy the game, uh, you can go follow MinMax on Twitter. And uh, you can retweet our tweet about the deepest dive for a chance to win the, win the code, because we got five Steam codes to give away. So please, look forward to that. How many of these stupid Komodos do I need? I keep forgetting that it's on autopilot. It's so weird. Starkiller, key question, are you having fun? I don't like puzzles in games, I don't like being stuck. Um, and I feel like I'm getting to the point of, what is with these Komodos, what am I supposed to do here? Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is a delight. I love this crap. It's definitely not as smooth of a ride as Chrono Trigger, you know? But how you gonna, how you gonna argue with this? Um, any other experts in the, in the chat can let me know if I'm blowing it by using those things every time. Oh my God. By max healing without using any consumables. Like there's no reason not to do that, right? I wouldn't think so. All right, let's see. Oh, that guy told me what to do, didn't he? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna wait until he's right there. Crap! All right, so we gotta wait until he's truly right there. I think I took screen grab, screen, screen grabs. Uh, Radical Dreamers, we're planning on covering, yeah, on the last episode. I don't think we'll play through it. We'll probably be pretty tired by then, but I think we'll talk about it then, so if you want to submit a comment about it then. We were going to do it first, but Kyle hasn't played this game before, so I don't want to spoil anything for him, and I think it might spoil some things technically. Do you have cure equipped? Max healing without consumables will spend any remaining element gauge on healing spells. Yeah, do I have do I have cure equipped? Um, oops, not that. Not that, not that, go back. Not that, not that, not that. Maybe I don't have cure equipped. I probably should, huh? Let's uh, let's do that. I had a character die, got in random battles to get that free healing, came out with everything at full HP. Oh yeah. Okay, so everybody has their innate color. I forgot about this. Y'all saw it. All right. All right, Komodo pup. Ah. Aqua beam this fool. Actually, we haven't used fire yet, have we? And it's gonna be strong on him because he's blue, right? Heck yeah. Could not have hit him harder. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna use this photon ray. Although maybe Surge should have it, because Surge is his innate color is white, right? This seems to make more sense. It's kind of an old Chrono thing there, right? All right, here we go. Got it. How many? I have two now. Surge is good for white spells. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Let's remove you. And then let's put cure here for your little puppy. And then let's remove you, put tablet there. And then let's, oops, 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 oops. Photon Ray! Hmm. I kinda, I kinda like Fireball, I guess, for the beach stuff, right? All right, now where's this last dragon? I am the last dragon. Let's speed this up. So it's a mix of random battles and running into enemies. No, there's no, there's no random battles. You're always running into enemies. Do I have them all? Did I get one of those? Can I not see how many dragon or Komodo scales I have? One more in the screen you just entered. This one? Ah, uh, yeah. Where does he go? Hey! Alright, I hope you like Scooby-Doo, everybody, because we're going to be doing this for a while. Is this going to work? Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Blast them. See, this is... Can anybody let me know that basic idea? Oh, God. My God, we need healing. Why have I not been paying attention to this? Post from my sweet. That's actually what I'm supposed to do? All right, well. I didn't design the friggin' game. All right. And now you cure Surge for all you're worth. It's nice there's no MP in the game, right? Hop, 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 hop. Here's a note I'll take for uh, the deepest dive. What is auto battling admitting? Oh my god! Uh, you kidding me? Stamina is low. Mama Kama, Mama Komodo. Let's go, baby. Let's reset that juice. Make some more of that juice. All right, uplift plus one. Do it, baby. Perfect Alexander, thanks for being here. How'd you find us, Perfect Alexander? Just wanna check out Chrono Cross? Boy, we get it. Looks like a rubber suit from an old Godzilla. That is true. That is true. I guess let's shoot a fireball down this thing's frickin' throat, huh? Hey, Leordrin, thanks so much. Perfect Alexander says it's my favorite childhood RPG. Perfect Alexander. We're doing something at Midmax called The Deepest Dive. We're creating the best, most thorough discussion about the game on the internet, but we need your input. So please, uh, submit a comment. Uh, we're breaking the game up into four parts uh, for a huge community game club. The first section covers everything up through Viper Manor. If you support us at the $2 tier on Patreon, not only do you help support independent games media, you support the only outlet that's going all in on Chrono Cross, wasting way too much time with Chrono Cross, savoring so much time with Chrono Cross. But uh, yeah, you, to support us at the $2 tier, you can submit a comment about the game, and then we'll read it during our big discussion with Rebecca Valentine from IGN and Joe Jubla and Kyle Hillier. It should be a fun time. We'd appreciate the support, is what we're trying to say. 
patreon.com slash minmax with two ends. You can look at the lower right hand side of the screen. You get the idea. Um, okay, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Basically, I'm just trying to rally every Chrono fan because we don't, we don't got enough of us, so. Oh, that's right, you can only use it once per battle. That's right, that's right. How do I keep forgetting? Is there a chat command to give the link to the YouTube trailer for the deepest dive? No, but you can find it. You can find the YouTube trailer on Minmax's YouTube channel if you're, if you're curious about it. All right, here we go. I remember the field effect having a big impact on spell damage if it's full. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. It is weird only being able to use that spell once in, a, in combat, though. Bam. Bam! Yeah, thanks for mentioning the trailer there, Sean. It is fun. It is fun. Alright, sorry. I gotta stop singing the music as I'm playing along here. Alright, let's go see Lena. Ritz, get moving to Apatha Beach. I'm ready for Lena. You got it. Is that... Is that down here? Or is that... That's over to the left, isn't it? I guess I can probably just walk right through it. Is there a remix of Gato's song? I don't know. There should be. Boy, there should be, but I don't know. All right, this is it, everybody. This is it. Olina. Oh, Hope you didn't wait too long, Sir Japu. Partial. She recognized that I had him. I didn't expect to see you here, so this is where you went off to. We, Lena here. How are you doing? Oh, are you two on a date? Saw oh, we. Me think we should review to a own. I don't like saying that. I think like Marshall's voice is all over the place. Is Gato in this game? I don't think so. But honestly, yeah, a lot of the Chrono Trigger connections I'm still coming in fresh on. Oh, please, don't be silly. We don't date. Dogs do feel like they're saying we all the time. Bushel has two tails, kind of like tails. I think it's, it's pretty important to write that down. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Bushel. Ahem, no problem. Oh, really, Gatto is in this game. I forgot. That is true, Serge has blue hair like Sonic. That's right. Sure has been a long time since you last came here. We used to come here so often. That coral is out of control. This is very Final Fantasy VII. With Tifa. time five years ago we sat and talked at this back when we were kids with the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves just the two of us talking boy lena i do not remember her at all it's kind of sad still remember that day oh i remember really you do so you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day this is so this is so Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? I'm just writing that down. I'm writing that down so I don't forget. Yeah, don't hate the font. Yeah, I don't hate it either. Very Kingdom Hearts, yeah. People being sweet on a beach. How's the game performance so far? Thanks so much for being here, Ron. Um, it's totally fine so far. I'm playing on Switch. 
I haven't noticed a single thing. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think about, just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. This game is written by a real sweetie. Yeah, of course, Ronkin. Why, oh, you might even remember this very moment someday in 10, 20 years when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. No. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. This is tough. I think it's kind of beautiful to say we'll forget it eventually. Yeah, I guess so. That'd be really sad, wouldn't it? I forgot that she wants to, like, marry Surge. And write it down for the deepest dives. And ask if we'll forget this day 20 years from now when they have kids. And Surge, but there's been something I've been wanting to... Surge. What? What's wrong, Surge? Surge. Walk into the ocean, Surge. Walk into the ocean. Oh my god. There it is, everybody. This is this is what we've been waiting for. Cool. Cool. No! God, there's so much I forgot about this game. Incoming! There's only one way out of here, buddy. Hell yeah. Can't find me where I'm going, evil wave. Perfect. Just perfect. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. What in the sand and all? Oh, everybody, we're starting to see what this game's about. You're right, boy, what on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. How spooky. Not dead, sir. Where's Lena? You're the only one when I, I saw when I got here. Your friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Lena exists. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. My god. I'm realizing this is just It's a Wonderful Life, isn't it? Surgipoo, you're finally up! Something went whoosh, and me wath out cold too. Me woke up first. Though we went to go rook around, but no th I don't want to do the voices anymore. <laughs> like, do you think? Okay, that's a silly combination of words. Yes, I do think Lena spontaneously combusted. Okay. I don't want to talk as Potial, but I do exclusively want to play as Potial so I can drown myself in the ocean. No. No, come on, I won't do that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Well, Ooh. top tier shop, no joke. Oh, so good. Don't 
make me leave. Shut up and take my money, Square. No kidding. No kidding. for just spawned in my apartment. Well, what are all these freaks? What is this, some sort of other world? And sign up for this. Where are my beach bombs? What are these monstrosities, Poshal? Oh boy, we need healing. Opa fish, opa, opa. Did I have, uh, I had my cure plus three on him, didn't I? Surgipu! Hang in there! It is very good battle music. Believe it or not, it's pretty good everything music. All right, cure plus two me, baby. <laughs> that summon, <laughs> it's so stupid. The image of him using that spell, I need to write that down as a timestamp because it's so silly. All right, so 153 potion spell. All right. I think the battle music is 5-4. That's very interesting. Can you write in about that? I don't know, I don't know anything about music, but can you write into the deepest dive about that, Sean? I'd like to discuss that. I don't know nothing about it. All right. Tab me. Call Kirk Hamilton. Well, I mean, Jason Daphnis, who's just in the chat, he could, he knows music, co-host of Crossfade. He could, he could tell us. If only he would come back. What do you mean attack temporarily decreased? All right, now you keep attacking, buddy. Let's um, let's go right to an element. Yeah, just blast this fool from space. So, yep. There you go, Poshal. My little buddy. Max healing, please. So, okay, so I need to have that saved up. Well, that's, that's obnoxious. All right. Speed it up and auto it. That's the solution here. I wonder, wonder how quickly you can die in auto battle. What do you think? I mean, how low level do you have to be to die in auto battle? Will it always take care of you, I wonder? I kind of like there's no um, full health, like shortcut. Like there is in the Final Fantasy VII port. Up, 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 up. Use it, use it, use it, love it. Jesus! I think mid to end game might be an issue. Okay. Brian, I'm about to buy the game today for a first time playthrough, but I'm confused about the battle system. Does grinding matter in this game? I heard you don't level up like a traditional RPG. Um, no, grinding, honestly, I don't remember how leveling up works in this game. So I, I don't know if I can tell you. It's, believe it or not, been 23 years since I played this game. 
All right. Jesus. I'm trying to outrun him. I'm trying to outrun him, and I just can't. I mean, I was leveling up there. I was getting better stats, right? It all just comes through the scars. You get a bigger stat boost across all your characters. Says JN. Regular battles give you small stat boost, but to level up, you need to defeat bosses. Interesting. Stats soft cap at each level. Hmm. Okay. So really... Okay. So turning that off... Turning off combat completely would not be a big issue. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, good music. I'm sorry. You said what I saw. There's new... New treasure chests available. wonder how many, though. Hey! Hey, a little freak. Shiny materials will make you search. Make you search for tutorials on how and where to get them easier. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure all that stuff out, huh? But. That stuff we can talk about with the deepest dive, which is our huge community game club. If you enjoyed Chrono Cross, you've been watching this long, you probably do. We'd appreciate the support, because we're going to be blowing it out. We're going to be talking about Chrono Cross in a huge way all month long. So, hope you're all ready for that. Over on Minmax's YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Minmax with two ends. Thanks, everybody, on Twitch. I know you're a different community at times. I think I already have two every helmets. Maybe I could put it on Lena. I don't know who the next character I would theoretically get is. Edit it out. Sure like the bone. How am I supposed to do this? Dodge this. Okay, there we go. Great. I kind of like the game is very balanced based on the leveling system. Yeah, it does seem cool. Oh, they do have beach bums. Not all the beach bums are gone. Thanks, Brian. Olina! Olina! Lena, my sweet. All right, Mojo, I'm coming for you later, buddy. Yahoo! That's such a good gift for the deepest dive. I can't wait to. I can't wait to make that. I can't wait to make that gift. Uh. Okay, she's gonna not recognize us. What are you talking about, Poshal? And who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Oh, Termina's music's so good. What are you saying, Lena? Hey, you! The ocean's scary! Didn't I tell you? Don't be trying to pull any moves on our Lena, you jerk! <laughs> Someone's just screaming. Serge hasn't even said anything. Talks to Lena. Doesn't say anything. Be trying to pull any moves on our Lena. Ugh. Hearing the guitar slide strings, like sliding on the strings, absolutely incredible, isn't it? Guy yelling from ocean is what I'm writing down. These are all notes for the deepest dive, everybody. Surge's sway speaks volumes. Yeah, that's true. Be playing guitar if it weren't for this game. That's amazing, Sean. That's such an interesting note. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Kids, I guess kids will be kids. And kids, kids, kids. Don't worry about them. We'll have them someday, stranger. You look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. What was his name? What happened to him? Why do you want to know? It's really none of your business. I forgot about all this stuff. Believe it or not, I forgot about all this stuff. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. Oh, really? Man, I don't remember that at all. So that's what all that stuff about respecting the ocean was about. 
in life. That's why everyone's always telling you to respect the ocean, I see. My mom says his name was Serge. That's nonsense! Oh, stop. That's not even funny. That boy is dead. Don't you understand? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of <laughs> him. I bet we'd be madly in love. Do you always take this detailed notes when you're playing a game just because you're prepping for the deepest dive? I, I take a lot of notes for the deepest dive, but I take notes on basically every game I play for the podcast, yeah. So I have a lot of notes, so it's nice to be able to go back and refer to it or like, you know, our end of the year debates and be like, yeah, what did I think about Kirby and the Forgotten Land? I can just go back and check all of my notes and it's kind of like a walkthrough of all that stuff. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Sarah's going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. It's a sad thing, isn't it? Jesus. You can find his grave up on Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up to you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Cape Howell. Let's go see... Should we go see our house? Can I get all these collectibles again? A huge glowing egg at the bottom of the sea down there. They all, they all got different stuff to say. Let's see. Let's see what this is like. It looks a little depressing. Doesn't look that different, realistically. Surge is a regular stranger in paradise. Yeah, Surge is the first isekai. Surely somebody would have moved into this room, don't you think? Other than this freak. <laughs> what is this? It's just the little Komodo dragon? Talking to you? That is absurd. What a silly idea. Yes, please. Hey, have a good night, man. I'll just be here watching you, man. We're all having a good time. We're all in the same boat, man. <laughs> With respect, have you seen your party member? Uh, 100! Are you kidding me? Secret $100? Outrageous. Outrageous. Yeah, there's no bed. That's a good point. Can I at least raid your pots or something? Magma bomb. What do you think that is? Is that gonna be the fire that attacks everybody? That sounds right to me. Oh, we got more slots. All enemies. All units. Love it. Um Yeah, where do we where do we put that? I guess let's put it here, huh? I mean, I guess having a cure would be nice. He's kind of stacked. Let's, um, let's get rid of Fireball. Let's give him a cure. And then Old Potion. We're going to give you Aqua Beam. And I hope that's okay. Hope that's okay for you. All right, now. Oh, no. What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids. All right, go play outside. Who's this weirdo? My name doesn't ring a bell. For five years. This is really, really weird. That's true, everybody. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. You got it, buddy. Let's go see that, um, where was, was he down here? No. Nope, 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 nope. I wanna go see the, uh, the fisherman. 
Where was he at? Why can't I remember? Also, no answer. Hang on, do you think there's gonna be something in here again? There we go, just a pot. Ice Lance? Hello. I wonder who that's for. Huh. Yeah, I think they're trying to be too cutesy with that uh, that voice. Because it's like, okay, the dog has a lisp. Sure, that's an angle. But then they're just like leaning into it now. It's tough to read it without doing like a stereotypical Japanese accent. Okay. Tablet. Got it. Got it and need it. I'm not from Termina, no. Viper Festival. Everyone's talking about it. You got performance issues, says Gao Gagaboo. Uh, what are you playing on? I, I'm playing on Switch and it's totally fine for me so far. What are you talking about? I gave up on my poems. Hmm. How do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It doesn't matter anymore whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Hmm. Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever gonna change, no matter how hard you try. That's all the reality of it. Sigh. Flower and Dream is the name of this. Oh, that's right. They have Nikki's poster here. I don't wanna talk about poems. Leave me alone. It's two of us. You're playing on PC. That's interesting. Humana, 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 what a hunk. This here is Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. That's funny, hang on. Uh, another world. Nikki Herbert versus Mickey Herbert. Good stuff. Nikki rules, his song rules, there's no doubt about that. It's like what have it. Nikki's rolling a concert in the Portland of Terminal. There's a heaven on earth. Pays limited in age, right? I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Whoa, stranger. Don't tell Gramps about this. Don't tell him I'm a pervert. All right, let's see. Anyone else having performance issues on PS5? Great question. Where was the fishing guy with the shark tooth? Which, which house was that? There's not that many. Was it you? Oh. This feels right. Oh, this is no. <laughs> oh, you know, he's just worshiping a old god down here now. I just finished praying to Mojo. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Don't you like Mojo? Won't you worship Mojo with me? Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? Just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. Our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and our certain tomorrows, how we live a meaningless today. This holy item, filled with prayers, protects and supports us. This is wild. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Oh my god. I don't remember this at all. Worships Mojo. Intense keeps calling you my brother. Poor Mojo. Poshal, do you approve of this? Let us pray together. Within Mojo! Oh, yeah? What do you think of this, buddy? What do you think of this? This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. 2530. It's not like your Tommy Cox and... <laughs> what's that line? If anybody wants to quote Jaws, I'd appreciate it. 35. I, I wish I was better at quoting Jaws. 
Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. No, you caught it. You caught it, bro. Another me? So the other me that became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? Did you know to give him that? Uh, somebody helped me out a little bit earlier in the stream. What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good 10 years ago. Couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? How do I do this? How do I get Mojo? I have nothing more to say. Do I have to go back to him in the other world? John, I'm alive. Thank you for the big sub on Twitch, bud. Appreciate it. 18 months. John, I'm alive. Thank you so much. What kind of min-max content do you want in the future? Let us know. Ten years ago, my husband's friend lost a son. Boy around at seat 10 to 7. Soon after, the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad turn of events. It's when my husband changed. Never did I imagine he'd end up like this. Oh, so it's because of Surge drowning? That's interesting. Directly that he became a religious nut. That's interesting. This game is big, not gonna lie. Hell yeah. This is interesting. Daddy always spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me. And if he gets real mad, if I go down there too, he didn't used to be like that 10 years ago and whatnot. I think he doesn't like me anymore. Jesus Christ. All right. Make Kyle play Shenmue 3. I wonder, has he started Shenmue 3? It's a, look, it's a solid idea. Maybe to be sacrilegious to do it without Reiner, but. Uh, I don't even know if Kyle started Shenmue 3. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Um, sure. Just one second. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Ivory dagger. The spatula. Oh, okay. What do you think? Can I go back right now? Yeah, all the differences are because of Surge's death. That makes sense. That's a very... It's a wonderful life situation, isn't it? Weird echoey cat. Turn red. Oh, that's the item that affects the field effect. That's right. That's right. Okay. I wonder what the longest J PS1 JRPG is. I know Star Ocean is pretty long. Can you look into Star Ocean uh, 2? Star Ocean Second Story. I feel like that's a beast. Chief Ganji is really stingy. Can't cook a decent meal if I don't have fresh quality ingredients. Just like Papa John's. Then he complains about how terrible the food tastes. I can't stand it. I like that there's a line for the save point. What is this now? Tablet. 40 hours. 40 hour post game dungeon. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause remember the whole thing was like the, what you like talk to a penguin to teleport to another world or something. That sounds right. You see the chief? There he is. Ganji's our chief. I must be mistaken. Is this Ganji? I can smoke in the Ganji. Can't offer any extra entertainment. Make yourself at home. Well, I know of some entertainment you can offer me, Ganji. If you catch my drift, bro. Um, so maybe I should. I just want to go and just see if I can. Drink Quest Seven is the longest. People say that's interesting. But I want to go back and see if I can just get Mojo right now by heading back. Is that teleporter still going to be on the beach, I wonder? Or are they going to make me go visit my grave first? Ah, you're stuck. Okay. Out of the darkness, it's Surge. He does look like a little baby boy. It's kind of cute. I should turn this into a podcast submission game. Which, Manic? Which are you talking about? Old Cape Howl. Oh. That knows a dungeon. 
more beach bombs? Don't mind if I do. All right, let's do it. Although now I'm wondering, like, I guess, oh, the how long to beat is this JRPG, PS1 JRPG. I'm with that, but I don't know how many people on the podcast like PS1 JRPGs, unless Joe Juba's on. Maybe save it for an episode when Joe Juba's on, Manic. I think he'd enjoy that. Other Everybody else would be like, shut up. Shut up, please. You know what people normally think of the podcast? Photon Ray! All right, little sand squirt. Now you bring him on home with a little element. Let's use Aqua Beam on your butt. Bam. So it says out minus three. So how does that stamina rebuild? I mean, that's what, that's what I'm still trying to understand. When are we getting a Legend of the Gaia remaster? That's a great question. Who published Legend of the Gaia? God, was it Enix? I don't think so. I want to say it was like some some weirdo. <laughs> who was it? Was it Sony? I don't know. Can somebody look that up? Who published Legend of the Gaia? I want to say it was like Bandai Namco, but that was before their time, right? Oh, before the combined company's time. When all your characters are out of stamina, all enemies get a chance to attack, then your dudes get some stamina back. But I feel like I wasn't out of stamina before, and enemies were still taking turns to attack. Oh, maybe about minus one. It was Sony, really, that published the Legend of the Gaia. That's odd. Huh. But then who developed it? Okay. Okay. Let's get full strength. Oh, Ice Lance is... Okay. That's why that makes sense. Okay, so let's... Let's get Cure... Here, you get out of there. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, stay in this menu. Um, and then let's remove Magma Bomb. Let's put Ice Lance. Eh. Eh. All right, let's get you down there. And then Magma Bomb, we're putting you at level two. That seems good, right? And then you have Cure, right? My little buddy. You must. You're, you're doing okay. Ice Lance, is that going to be a better move? Cure plus two. Single enemy. What is Ice Lance minus one? I don't want. I don't want that. Although Hurl's nice to be an unsuspecting foe. Level two plus six. All right. So if I move you. Swap you. There we go. That's an easier way to navigate that. JRPG's taught me what the plus or minus symbol was. That's interesting. That's that's pretty deep. That's a deep, helpful thing to learn. I just want the chest. I just want the chest. I'm getting a lot of items that I don't really know what to do with. Electro Jolt. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'll take it. Just walking up to my grave. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We're all having a good time here. I like that it's like Surge gets the best grave imaginable. Although, how is he buried on that cliff? Something... Written on the tombstone, everybody. No! What came from the sea is returned to the sea. It's not exactly centered in there. He drowned, no body. That's right. That's right. So you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago, Surge. Lena? Ooh, Karsh? Is that his name? 
Sorry, Junior. Did they just kick Poshal off the freaking ledge? Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think it is true, truly true that this chap is a ghost? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this guy. Forgot about this son of a bee. Seems like a perfectly young boy. Perfect young boy. Alright, this is getting creepy. Doesn't matter, we found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Who's that? Mojo? Now seize him! Hold your sea horses! Hell yeah! There she is, everybody. Woo! Woo! Little twinkle in her eye. I love it. I love a good short cutscene. Reveal of kid. Hold your seahorses. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Who the... Tear her up, kid! All right, now I was told to reject her. Out of the way, missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do ya? Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. You have a problem? Do you think... Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons! Yeah, how can you not like Kid? She's just immediately fun. Wild accent. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, she's definitely Irish. She's definitely Irish. No, she's Australian, right? Hang on. She's Australian, right? Have I always just thought that because I was a stupid kid? I'm gonna freak out. Is she actually Irish? Hang on. She's definitely Australian? Okay. How do we know that? Why, why Australia? Salt and pepper are very funny. Localization choices. Uh -huh. Her mom is a kangaroo. She's definitely coded as Australian, despite there being no Australian in the world. Oi! Oh, she says oi. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Oh, let's use a little magma bomb. All targets. She uses crikey and bugger. That's right. That's right. Okay. But arse. Is arse Australian? Girl. Sorry, Salt. Or Pepper, whatever the hell you are. Sir, his namely innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color. Black! How unfortunately unfortunate. I don't seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop, you should always carry elements of every color. And how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. Love to let you, sir, car, show us how it's done. Useless fools! Was that... Was there the wrong, um, apostrophe in there? I think there was. Er, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. All right, so we gotta use, I gotta use the white moves on him. That's, that's what I'm learning here. Fireball, fireball, magma bomb. All right, let's, uh, let's rock this magma bomb, baby. Uh, my Australian accent, soy of a tangerine. So it's, it's a little bit like this. Yeah, yeah, you can, that's Australian, right? Yeah. That's, that's, it's one of those. Um, thank you. 
Uh, okay, so I could pop that field effect, but I want to... I want to use everything I got here. So let's, let's go for this. And then I want to use you. I want to use Photon Ray on Karsh. It's going to throw everything off here. I'm ruining the field effect, I know that, but hopefully it's worth it. Oh, what am I doing? I can speed this up. All right, so she's at level one. Let's, uh, might as well keep attacking this idiot. 1.2 for my stamina that's left. That's so confusing. I really don't get that. Finally. All right, here we go. Let's keep rocking this. Well, let's let's take out this. Should I just go right for Karsh, you think? Axe literally in Surge's face. <laughs> Five damage. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Um, would this affect the... Well, I guess I can't... What's the point if I can only use every move once, you know? Yeah, I guess let's just keep doing a little bit of damage here and there. Take it, take it, take it, get knifed, get stabbed. See, that's that's the part I understand. Why did they get to move then? If anybody can explain that to me. I know you probably have before and maybe I missed it. I don't, I don't get it. All right, here we go. I really wanna do something cool. You have stamina. Yeah, I have stamina left, so why do they get a turn? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All your characters are out of stamina. They were? I mean, she has 2.4. All right, I guess let's just keep on doing this. Did you have stamina left there? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. How do I um just defend to build your stamina back up? Is that really the only way? All right, yeah, let's nuke this guy from orbit. Hey, Otsia. Thanks for being here. There's a version of ATB running in the background. Yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what I don't understand. Why it has to be that way. Why can't it just let me do what I want to do? Karsh, please. Karsh the Darsh. All right. Star level. Max healing, please. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Bone axe. I don't know if I need any of that ivory stuff. So Karsh, are we shaking on air? Is we going to live to fight another day? These are ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards! As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on anytime. I think I'll lose a scum like you. Ha! You all right, mate? There's the mate. Thanks, Rick Knowles. Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll be streaming again at uh, 6 p.m. tonight, just so you know. Surge. Name's Surge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Fart for Brains. Come on, classic. Call me kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me off. Pissed me the bloody hell off. I wish I could have beat on them some more. Why was that mob after you? I'm taking all these pictures, maybe just for uh, background or for uh, thumbnail art. What do you mean you never even met them before, eh? Eh, forget it. Hey, Surge, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fell ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. I'll tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. So how about it, Surge? Maybe it's fate that we meet up like this. Refuse. Be mean, people insist I be mean. All right, hang on. You telling me you're gonna refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Eh, that's weird. Is the dog dead? <laughs> that's a great question. Yeah. Shh. 
Should I keep being mean? Does anybody know? She does have real Yuffie vibes. Absolutely. See, this is this is where it gets tough. We don't have my real dog hates me. Turn her down again. All right. Reject her three times. Are you all messing with me? Sure there might, might live to regret it, you know. No thanks. I, you you all are scaring me. Are you all effing with me? Wait, are you kidding me? This way you get an additional character. I see. I'll be heading up north to a town called Termina. I'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want you to become Hecran bait now. <laughs> well, see ya. Goodbye. Oh no. <laughs> Bushel lives. It was terrible. Should be kind to animals. That's funny. Now we watch the sunset together, my sweet. My true love. Oh, Lena! Oh, Lena! Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. Glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? Feels kind of odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Hang on, I'm going to save that. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else. But you think you're the Surge who died 10 years ago. I want to help you. I just... I can't just leave you alone like this. And you don't seem like I'm such a bad person either. Plenty good to determine it, right? Then let me join you. There's some errands to run over there anyway. Hell yeah. Tell you the truth, feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Surge like the energy drink? Hell yeah, surge like the energy drink. Well, that's it. Shall we get going? Gotcha. Let us head to Termina. Full, full speed ahead is, is what he's trying to say. She has blue color. Uh, oh, she has a spatula. Okay, she can't use that. Okay, that's probably not worth it. Put a helmet on her for God's sake. to go, baby. Um, ooh, I should probably... I should probably... Ooh, how's she doing? Auto-allocate. Seems alright. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. Automate this whole freaking thing. CA equals calcium, which equals bone or ivory. Hmm. I think that's true. I think that's true. Oh, little frame rate dip there. You see that? If you look carefully, I'll show you how to kill a god. Okay. All right, everybody. This seems like it. This seems like a good spot. Allocate. 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 <laughs> I think I say alloc... Oh, my God. Hang on. Shut up. I can get mojo now? Wait, wait, wait. You can get mojo? Okay. Do I have to go back? Or do I just go... Do I have to go back to the other world? Let's see. God, thank you, chat. Oh. Oh, we can't go back to the world. Go back to the village? Okay. Gonna buy this right now, says Sean. When I was streaming this song? Absolutely. That sounds wonderful. Good lord, this music says Plastic Oasis. Yeah. It's... It ain't no joke. It is truly the greatest soundtrack of all time. Um... Video game soundtrack. Greatest film soundtrack is Solo, a Star Wars story. I, don't know. I do love that soundtrack. 
Um, all right, let's go see. Can we just go talk to Mojo Boy? Jesus, the music in Mojo's room is just hilarious. All right, is it because Lena's gonna be with me? And then he's gonna be like, well, Lena, the cat statues. That's an aura of longevity from Ori the cat. Not. How does that mean? Received a sacred. <laughs> you can't say this. We received a sacred lickeroo from Licky the Cat. May we all be so lucky in our lives. Ish. Beam of light from Lasery the cat. Not. Why does it say not? No answer. It seems to be just a straw. Doll. I know it's not. I know it's not. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good look. Yeah, we already know that. We already got that part. It is very 90s humor. Yeah, you're totally right. Feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother, how our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows, how we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with prayers protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. This is so weird. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. Pray for Mojo. Am I supposed to... Is there another... Now try the cats again. What a weird thing. Are you... Are you all messing with me? What are you doing? Then leave. How the hell? You must have walkthroughs pulled up. Give him the necklace? Okay. Try cat butthole. Yeah. No. You're the, we already talked about all this. Shark tooth. He won't take it. It's very funny that Ben thinks the only way to get a bunch of these characters is just messing with him. Brain freeze, are you really messing with me? Were you the one saying the cats? No. Now leave. I mean, he didn't take it. this a guy we got this guy love is always in the air it's just that no one notices my god we did it we did it everybody <laughs> so dumb uh, feels like fun so i'll join you wait a second Nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop running and come face to face with your life. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Messenger of love and courage I am. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mojo joined your, yeah. Sure, we'll, we'll take a god. 
Oh, poor Lena. She just got here. Can I get rid of Surge? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lena. I gotta... I gotta have the Freaktown party. Freaktown party, sing that song, doo da doo da Freaktown party, five hours long, all the doo day. Where's your god now? Learn to worship me. Lick your cats and say goodbye. All right, let's go to Germany. <laughs> Freaks come out at night. Freaks come out at night. What other songs can we sing for the freak party? <laughs> oh, frame rate drop. You can see it there. Little, little dip. Little dip. Oof. More than a little dip. Freak on a leash. Yep, yep, yep. All the hits. All the freak hits. Sure, Serge needs to get his freak on. <laughs> um, can I... Oh, uh, do I have to... How do I switch back to her? How do I switch parties? Does anybody know? Super Freak? Yep. How, does anybody know how to switch parties? Hit left? Wait, like where? You can't? He's there forever now? Well, I'd like to get those elements back from... Maybe al allocate. Yeah, that left menu. Scroll down to her. Oh, weird. Okay. That's that seems odd. Yes. I'm sorry, Lena. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, but I can't not do this. Mojo. It's easy to miss, for sure. For sure. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna... Well, I already got one of those, I guess. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take that from me if that's okay, my queen. I want to like her, but she's just... She's just not as much fun as these weirdos. That's, that's her only fault, really. If I had to pick something. Girl literally stops her life to help you out and you ignore her for a scarecrow. <laughs> uh, a scarecrow that's worshipped in a basement, mind you. All right, that's gonna do it for uh, this stream. Thank you so much, everybody, again. If you watch this far, you're a Chrono Cross fan. If you're a Chrono Cross fan, we gotta stick together. So please, uh, help spread the word about the deepest dive in Chrono Cross. Share it on Reddit, retweet it, all that fun stuff, and then jump in and actually submit a comment for us to read during the deepest dive. We'd appreciate it. Um, it's gonna be a fun time, and we're gonna be collecting comments uh, this Monday, April 11th, everything up through the Viper Manor. So finish the Viper Manor, then we're gonna read it during your discussion. Otherwise, if you just wanna support MinMax at the $5 tier, go to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Support us at the five dollars tier. That gives you access to the exclusive podcast feed, where you get the deepest dive, all these episodes in your favorite podcast app. You also get access to Party Chat, which is our Patreon exclusive podcast. You also get all of our film commentaries for The Matrix, Star Wars, uh, The Lord of the Rings, uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. If you're watching this, you're probably interested in that. Um, and again, that goes right in your favorite podcast app to support us at the five dollars tier. You also get early access to the Minimax Show podcast every week. A lot of good stuff. So we hope you enjoy it. And again, thank you so much, everybody. We hope to see you for the deepest dive next week. Tell a friend, please. Bye. Did you know that you can more than double the amount of podcasts from MinMax every single week by supporting us at the $5 tier on Patreon? You don't have to listen through the browser or anything dumb like that. You'll get access to a private RSS feed if you support us on Patreon. You put it in your favorite podcast app, and then bam, you can listen to our weekly bonus podcast, Party Chat, the podcast versions of The Deepest Dives, MinMax Interviews, Max Spoilers, and you get the MinMax Show podcast a day earlier than everybody else. So please help support independent games media. Head over to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's.